Hello, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics coming to you today with a video all about the various avenues, types, branches, fields of pharmacy that this profession has to offer to you. For starters, pharmacy prospects. Where do you see yourself working? My practicing pharmacists, my interns, my veterans. Where did you see yourself working before you became a pharmacist? And how does that compare to now? I would love to know what you all have to say. So make sure that you share your story in the comment section below. For time's sake, I will not go over every particular pharmacy that there is. I will just cover a few, mainly the most common types. If you would like me to go into depth or explain briefly about a certain type of pharmacy, please let me know in the comment section below because I will be glad to make a video in regards to that for you. Now, let's get to the nitty and gritty. According to News Medical, community pharmacy, also known as retail, is your typical day-to-day -day idea of a pharmacy. It's when you have a pharmacist that works in a store that provides the community with a direct access to the medications that they need, as well as promoting the safe and effective use of medicines. Retail pharmacy is categorized into two different groups. You have chain and you have your independent. Either entities, the pharmacist's role is pretty much the same. The pharmacist will help the patients with reimbursements of drug expenses, supervising pharmacy technicians, and keeping inventory of the drugs stocked. Hospital pharmacy is the second most common type of pharmacy. Inpatient and outpatient will fall under this branch. Hospital pharmacists often work in collaboration with healthcare professions to ensure that the medication regimens for each patient is optimized to achieve the best outcomes. Duties can consist of administrative functions, proper storage, distribution, prescription protocols, and drug safety. There's a lot of safety that goes into the practice of pharmacy. I can tell you that now, but that's going to be another topic for later on. Clinical pharmacy exists in various settings. You have hospital, nursing homes, and even medical centers. The aim of clinical pharmacy is to ensure the optimal use of medications through the provision of drug information and monitoring. These pharmacists predict drug interactions and adverse reactions. Most of all clinical pharmacy positions require residency, a topic to be discussed in later videos. Industrial pharmacy is another type of pharmacy that requires additional training at the pharmacy school. This training can be done through an accredited fellowship program, which I will also cover in depth in a later video. Industrial pharmacy involves the pharmaceutical industry more so, and it includes the research, production, packaging, quality control, and marketing and sales of pharmaceutical goods. Industrial pharmacists may work as a representative for a particular pharmaceutical company to advocate and inform practitioners about the use of the different products. Now, if you're a more hands-on type of person, you may enjoy this one like I do. Compounding pharmacy. It involves the production and preparation of medicines in new forms. Compounding pharmacists work in a community, clinical, or even a residential-based setting, depending on the purpose of their formulations. Next, we have ambulatory care. This is a mobile service to patients in rural areas, particularly the geriatric population. This aids in the reduction of hospital visits that most of these patients might require. Regulatory pharmacy is the governmental side of pharmacy. This particular branch of pharmacy is responsible for making rules and regulations for the safe use of medicine to promote positive health outcomes. So if you're into politics, rule making, setting laws, setting regulations, this is for you. Home care pharmacy, also known as infusion pharmacy, primarily involves the preparation of delivery of injectables to critically ill patients in the home environment. If you like to experiment, be at a computer all day, read, any of those things, then maybe research is for you. They work on developing new drugs and profiling the actions of those drugs, effectiveness, side effects, and interactions. 
consulting pharmacy focuses on the theoretical review of medications rather than dispensing medications. Consulting pharmacists often work in nursing homes or visit patients at home. If you're into managing, this is definitely the type of pharmacy that's for you. Managed care involves the planning and the management of medications in health maintenance organizations such as hospitals, nursing homes, and extended health care centers. The last type of pharmacy I'll go over today is specialty. I will not go into great detail about these different types of pharmacies unless you all comment down below saying that you would like a video about them. But to name a few, we have oncology, geriatric, nuclear, hospice, pediatric, psychopharmacotherapy, pharmacy benefit manager, and the list goes on. This is a specific type of pharmacy and usually requires you to have continued education or continuing training. I will leave a link of all the resources that I used in today's video in the description box below, just in case you want to go research them yourself or just need to know a little bit more information. If not, you can come back to this video because it will always be posted for you to learn from. I hope that this video gave you a little insight on what pharmacy has to offer to you. and has allowed you to kind of pick a niche. If not, at least begin to think about where you would like to serve in this profession. So pharmacy prospects. Was this information helpful to you? If so, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you click the subscribe button down below so you'll be notified about all the new videos that I have to come. Also, if you all would like to know where I thought I would be in this profession, please comment down below. I would love to make a video just about that. Last but not least, my pharmacy veterans, did I miss anything? Is there any information that you think I should have included that I did not? I value your input to the fullest. So make sure you comment down below as it can help myself and future pharmacists. Again, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics. I hope that you all have a busy and blissful day.